Good morning, everybody. Tuesday is upon us again. I got a bobtail up to Elm Creek, Manitoba. It's a small town between Portage and Prairie and Carmen, central south Manitoba, north of like eastern North Dakota on the Canadian side. There's a trailer there. I got I got to hook onto the trailer and I got to move it to uh, move it across the yard and then drop it there and then come back. That's that's my day. Seriously, <laughs> at least that's this part of the day. We had a meeting this morning about Truck World. Uh, so again, I'm going to remind you guys, Truck World is coming up very soon in Toronto, Ontario at the International Centre. If you're in the Toronto area, the Greater Toronto Area, or even Southern Ontario, anywhere else, and you want to come out, it's April 21st to 23rd, that's Thursday to Saturday. I'd love to see you there if you want to come and you can get in for free. Uh, go to the truckworld.ca to their website. When you register and you're filling everything out, there's a little spot there for a promo code. Put my promo code in there, T-W-J-O-S-H, and that'll get you in the door for free. You can just register and, uh, so that they know you're coming, and then show up and uh, everything should go smooth. And there's lots of exhibitors there. There's lots to see. Uh, check it out on their website if you want to, truckworld.ca. And the last time they did Truck World was in 2018. You can go on to YouTube and uh, uh, search out Truck World 2018. It'll show you what that show was like. This one's going to be even better. Because right, it's been a while because of the whole COVID thing. They, they couldn't do this show for the last, you know, few years. So they're coming back with a bang. It's going to be great. We're going to be there. I'm going to be there at booth 20. If you want to come and find me there, I'll also be walking around the store, or walking around the, the, the floor there, sorry. And uh, it should be a lot of fun. So if you're in the area, uh, plan to come and hang out either uh, Thursday after work, Friday after work, or Saturday during the day. And this video is scheduled to be released on Tuesday. Tuesday, April 19th. That means it's this week for you, okay, Tuesday. That means the day after tomorrow for you is Truck World. All right, we're already gonna be there Wednesday setting up and everything, getting ready. Uh, I think my plane lands sometime then. We're flying in, so this is a big deal. I'm flying all the way over there to see you guys. <laughs> Maybe I can guilt you into coming. I'm flying all the way over there. The least you could do is come and say hi. <laughs> Whatever I gotta say to get you over there, right? It's gonna be fun. So that's Thursday this week for you. April 21st is when it starts. 21st, 22nd, 23rd. Go and register right now before you forget. Okay, I'll forgive you for pausing the video right now. Go and register on truckworld.ca right now and then come back and watch this video after that and finish it up. Cobra chickens. Can you see them across the street over there? They've been coming to this spot here for generations. And in the last 10 years, this whole suburb development of Winnipeg has <laughs> risen out of the ground right where their swamps and ponds used to be. So every year they keep coming back and wondering what is going on. Yeah, we moved in, guys. Welcome to Winnipeg. It's our home now. <laughs> There's lots of... Uh, land outside the city lots of ponds lots of protected areas for them to go to but you know old habits die hard and they keep coming back here oh that was a short green light oh look at that guy going straight through the red that was solid red when he oh it was already red when he started hitting the gas oh man and be careful doing that you're gonna end up on youtube somewhere solid red wow but in his defense if you can defend that i mean it was a very short green light that wasn't really fair no excuse to go running red lights though look at this, this guy got his truck squatted no he just got lots of weight in the back thank god i haven't seen any of those ridiculous squat trucks up here in manitoba yet i think they were popular in north carolina right or south carolina north carolina the carolina squat that's what they called it They'd lower the back end so the bumper's almost dragging on the ground and then they'd raise the front end so that your like, truck is like looking at the sky and it looks like you're uh, a dog dragging his butt on the ground. Call that the Carolina squat. <laughs> hey, I shouldn't say anything bad. Maybe you guys like that stuff. I mean, it's not my thing. Not my thing at all. I think they made that illegal now too, didn't they?
Well, guys, where are we going? Huh? Where are we going? We sure got a lot of stuff packed. We going to Grandma's? Yeah. We going to Grandma's? Yes, that's the place. I grew up there. I know her. <laughs> so uh, we have our uh, fertility appointments, her fertility appointments, in the city tomorrow, and there's supposed to be a big snowstorm rolling in overnight. So, yeah, it's supposed to be the biggest one we've had in decades. So we'll see if that comes true. Just on the off chance that they're actually right, we're going to go stay in Winnipeg at her mom's house. And we're taking all the dogs with us because we have an appointment first thing tomorrow morning for an ultrasound. Oh, your alarm's going off. I can't find my phone, but that's my alarm. There it is. She always has the volume off on her phone, so if she loses it, there's no way of finding it unless an alarm goes off just randomly. Where it's not supposed to be. <laughs> Found it. I am a geese break now. Yep. You're welcome. Dad, uh, you said some Grandma's house? We go to Grandma's house? Look at all these wieners down here. Everyone's just ready to go. You guys forget that the door has to open this way. Needless to say, they really love their Grandma. Because Grandma spoils you guys. Grandma's got treats. Super good ones. Diesel, so were they right? Oh, were they ever, man. Wasn't quite as big as we thought it might be, but you know, you got a little bit of snow. April snow, kind of ridiculous. So show them outside, show them outside. Okay, I'll show you guys. Look at this. Look at this mess. You remember what the backyard looked like just a little while ago? I had to make the little trails again in the yard so the little guys could get through the yard again. Mid-April. Seriously. Look at this, a snowdrift in April. Well, this is Manitoba, man. You don't call it Manitoba and winter peg for no reason. So if you follow me on TikTok, uh, you can find me there. The handle is at TJV TikTok, just one word, TJV TikTok. If you follow me there uh, or on my Facebook or Twitter, I posted it everywhere. I was just like, even as a Manitoban, I was just I'm fed up with winter. I'm done with it. But uh, I posted uh, from Winnipeg at our appointment there. We made it to our appointment. We had to go to my mother-in-law's for night. It's a good thing we did because they closed all the highways at midnight. We wouldn't have been able to make it in. I don't know what, well, I would have made it in. This is very expensive, like $15,000 in. We're gonna make it in. We got two vehicles with four wheel drive. I mean, we're going in, you can't stop me. But since we stayed in the city, it was a lot closer and easier. A little, a little bit sketchy driving through the snow but it was important and we made it all the doctors and nurses from the fertility clinic are actually staying at a hotel right across the street so nobody's missing their appointments which is really awesome that'd be terrible eh? terrible you go through all of this effort all of these injections spend all this money and then mother nature shows up at the last minute and ruins it all yeah i know i'd have to put a sound like that over the words i would say be a lot of beep words I can't say on YouTube. Be very frustrated. So good thing that that didn't happen. And uh, we made it in. If you didn't see those videos on TikTok, I guess I'll throw them in here if it'll let me. And uh, I'll probably have to put different audio over it because of copyrights and stuff. But here you go. This was Winnipeg, mid-April. April 13th in Manitoba. You thought it was spring. Welcome to Third Winter. Snowing. Snowball. Snowman. Sleds and slides. It's really, really snowing. It's snowing. Our footprints show right where we've been going. We've gone here and we've gone there. I love it when it's snowing. Here I go. Can you believe that? Oh well, it is what it is. We'll just deal with it. Won't be uh, work for a couple of days now because we're going to be digging ourselves out and clearing, clearing snow and stuff. Saturday is the surgery, the egg retrieval for Brit. So that's a big day. My big day is coming on Saturday as well when I have to do my part, my 
my part in this whole big process. It may not be that big of a part, but I think it's I think it's an important part. It's my only part, so you gotta give that to me. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, my next vlog tomorrow will be at the mother-in-law's house yet. I'm just finishing this up later at home as I'm putting it together here and editing it. Just filling you in on what was going on. The, that night was so crazy I didn't vlog anything. We got out of here at like 9 30, 10 o'clock and we got to their house at like 11 and then uh, went to, uh, stayed up for a little bit there, visited for a little bit and then went to bed. Got to bed pretty late. Didn't sleep very well but uh, it is what it is. Thanks for watching everybody and thanks for tagging along on our journey. I appreciate it. We'll see you tomorrow.